Hey guys, welcome to the Jen Lowry Writes channel. Today, I want to talk with you about how I figured out how to change my images so that I could meet the specifications required where there would be no error coming up on my Ingram Spark. So how in the world do you change to 300 PPI without having some kind of fancy equipment? Now, you might know the tricks to this, but it took me a while to figure it out. And I wanted to share a way that I did it. And maybe this can be a tool for you to use in the future. I will say that when you start to get into this program named GIMP, you really need to, one, make sure that you have your pictures um, labeled so it's easy for you to find them. Okay, so that's my first recommendation. And the second one is to go ahead and know what sizes that you need. So that way, when you are putting the images in, you're doing it right the first time. So especially if you have a lot of images. So I'm going to show you what I'm working on. So there is a picture in my book. This is original woodcut art from Emmeline Mansfield. She's a Native American artist and I was so inspired by this work of hers that it's in my living room. I have, as you can see, print number two of four. Well, I wanted special permission to place her artwork in my book. And of course, it's in Speak to Me, which this work did speak to me. As soon as I saw it in her artist booth, that was the book. I was like, there it is. And it's called Together We Stand Like Pine Trees in a Forest. I'd already written the book the week before, so all of the characters and the scenes were so fresh in my mind. And here I am looking at this painting, and I'm like, you know, looking at this woodcut cut art print, and I'm like, this is mine. I, I got to get this. So um, thankfully, she gave me permission to be able to use it in my book because I absolutely adore it. But it's not set in the proper 300 PPI, okay, pixels per inch. So what do you do? You open up GIMP. So GIMP is going to open up and you're going to say, oh my gosh, this thing looks complicated. It's actually not. You go to open. Now I've got a bunch of files and I told you the naming game. Woo. Well, because this is called Together We Stand. Together We Stand like pine trees in a forest. And that's what I saved it as. So for some reason, it didn't save there. So then I'm going to pictures. Did I save it in pictures? Oh, see, that's why I said you got to know where you're saving and you got to know. So see, you're learning from me as I'm doing this again. And I'm giving you words of advice, right? All right, so here we go. Now, I'm going to crop it. So when you come here, crop to content, I want to go ahead and crop it before I size it. Um, don't quote me on this, but I did read that that does matter when you're going in and si sizing. So then now that I have it cropped and the size that I want, you're going to come into image and you're going to go to print size. And every single image that I've tried to upload is in this standard 96 pixels. OK, so I'm going to come in and I have to change it to 300. When I click 300 and I just click in that next box, it fixes it. You hit OK. Well, here's the thing. You can't just go over here and hit save as because it'll save it as a GIMP picture. You actually have to export it. Now, I'm going to show you like kind of like what I've been doing just to kind of get myself to where I know I'm using the right one. I call this one now export and I now know I see it's in pictures. Now, if you wanted to change this, of course, you could go to yours and then move it to documents or wherever. So um, I'm going to hit it to move this over because my screen share is in the way. OK, export and I'm going to hit export. And now, because I have to change the picture, all I have to do is come here from file, make sure I'm in my pictures, and then I'm going to go down to Together We Stand. And I don't want to click this one. And there she is. There's the artist. 
There's Imelon Mansfield. Oh, and there it is. There is the image. Now, before I keep going, I want to make sure that this image is in my six by nine. And so you see, if you're wondering like, oh, wow, how, in, how did Jennifer do that? So when you go to review, maybe not review, let's see where it was. There is a ruler up here. Um, <laughs> funny that I forgot where the ruler was. So if you come here, you type in show ruler, it took it off. Ruler. Oh, there is my ruler. So then I go here. I forgot where I found it. It's too late, guys. It's been such a long week. Okay, and so I, I kind of just kind of say, oh, no, there's still a little bit. But I, I want to make sure I don't get the together. So that's a little too close. I don't want to get the words cut off at all. I don't want the image cut off at all. Yeah, that's good. And then once you have it in there, I would suggest that you go ahead and you save it. Now, I saved it as today's date. And what am I doing this for? I'm doing this for my Ingram Spark print book. So I'm making sure that my work is completely um, labeled, renamed, so I know um, the dates and what I'm working with. But GIMP was quick to download. It is free. And I'm sure there's a lot more things that we can do on here. So just give me some more time, guys. And I'm going to be looking up some tutorials about GIMP and uh, see what I can learn. This might be a great place where we can make some um, graphics and make our book covers. Who knows? So I hope that this was helpful, at least when you are learning how to resize your photos. And good luck with everything. And thanks again to Emmeline Mansfield for this beautiful art that actually spoke to me. So thank you again, guys. All right. Bye.